muscles of the head. First of all, the muscles of mastication. Number one, that is musculus temporalis. It starts from fossa temporalis and attached to coronoid pro processus coronalis. Do you remember coronalis process of mandible? This muscle, all muscles of mastication move mandible upward and posterior fibers moves it backward. One of the most strongest muscles in human body, musculus masseter. It starts from zygomatic arch and attached to tuberositas masseterica. This one, the same musculus masseter. It is the same musculus masseter. That is the same musculus masseter. Next two muscles, pterygate muscles. Musculus perigeidus medialis and musculus perigeidus lateralis. Both of them start from pterygate process of sphenate bone and from inferior surface of greater wings. And lateral muscle attached in the region of neck of the mandible to capsule of atlanta of uh, temporal mandibular joint and uh, medial muscle attached in the region of tuberositas pterygoida. If both muscles contract together, they move mandible forward. In, if they work on the one side, they move mandible to opposite direction, lateral movements of mandible. For example, if this muscle contract, mandible moves to the left. If this muscle contract, mandible moves to the right. One muscle nestled to know on the roof of the skull, that is musculus epicranius. This muscle consists of venter frontalis, venter occipitalis, and between them, above of the roof, we have gallia aponeurotica. Gallia aponeurotica, that is aponeurosis which is joined with the bones of the roof of the skull with the help of connective tissue. And it's movementable, that is why we can move uh, venter frontalis and venter occipitalis and slightly move skin of the head because skin fused with this aponeurosis, gallia aponeurotica. Lateral muscles uh, in the region of external acoustic meatus we have three auricular muscles, musculus auricularis posterior, musculus auricularis superior, and musculus auricularis anterior. And now muscles of facial expression. Uh, it is first of all muscles which in the region of orbita. First of all musculus orbicularis oculi. This muscle consists of three parts. Largest part, that is pars orbitalis. Next, over the eyelids, pars palpebralis. And the smallest part in the region of lacrimal sac, that is pars lacrimalis. Three parts in musculus orbicularis oculi. One muscle in the region of eyelids, uh, oh sorry, uh, eyebrows, uh, it is absent, but you need to answer. That is musculus corrugator supercilii. Supercilium, that is eyebrow. And muscle which is contract eyebrow. It's a move eyebrows one to another, that is, and makes vertical folds on the forehead. That is musculus corrugator supercilii. And last muscle, it is musculus procerus. It is, it is in the region of glabella, musculus procerus. It makes, it makes a horizontal folds on the skin of forehead. Next, muscles in the region of oral cavity, oral uh, rima oris. First of all, that is musculus levator labi superioris. This muscle starts from the region of margo infraorbitalis and goes to upper lip levator labi superioris and part of this muscle which goes to uh, narus to wings of uh, external nose has name musculus levator labi superioris 
Aliquinase goes to wings of the nose. Next muscle, musculus zygomaticus minor, musculus zygomaticus major, musculus levator angulioris goes to the angle of mouth, musculus risorius, that is muscle of smile, it starts from skin of the chin, cheek, and attached to the angle of mouth, musculus risorius. In time of smile, Smiling, some person has dimple on the on the cheek on the cheek. That is a place of the beginning of musculus risorius. Next muscle is musculus buccinator, musculus depressor angulioris, musculus depressor labi inferioris, musculus mentalis and musculus orbicularis oris. It is absent musculus depressor septi nasi in septum of nasal cavity and musculus nasalis is here, here and here, musculus nasalis. It's the same expand uh, winds of the, no of the nose in time of br deep breathing. It's expand, uh, expand, ah, winds of the nose. One again, I repeat some of these muscles. Musculus temporalis and musculus masseter, they are muscles of mastication. The same like the musculus pterygoidus medialis and musculus pterygoidus lateralis. It is venter frontalis of musculus epicranius. It's continuous into gallia paneurotica. Venter occipitalis, it is absent. The same like auricular muscle, the same absent. This muscle is musculus orbicularis oculi. Oculi. It consists of pars orbitalis, pars palpebralis, and it is smallest part is uh, pars lacrimalis. It is zygomaticus minor and zygomaticus major, musculus buccinator, musculus depressor angulioris, depressor labii inferioris, musculus orbicularis oris, and it is the same absent. Corrugator supercilius should, should be here, but it is absent in this model, the same. Ah, small muscle, heat is musculus procerus, but it's also absent. Uh, specific feature of all muscles of mastication, of uh, facial expression, they attach to skin. Start from bones in most cases, but attach to skin, that is why the MK moves skin and uh, um, change our uh, expression, our facial <laughs> emotions we can show on our, our, our face. And muscles of mastication, they have fascia. Muscles of facial expression have not got fascia. It's another good news for you, <laughs> not necessarily to study fascia because they are absent. And heat is we have Fast uh, temporalis, it closed all of this muscle. Fast uh, masseterica closed musculus masseter. And last fascia on the head, that is fast uh, paratide, it surrounds parotid gland. Parotid gland occupies space below of external acoustic meatus, heat is parotid gland. And fast uh, paratide surround parotid gland. Buccinator muscle mu fast, uh, has posteriorly, posteriorly, in place where buccinator muscle continues to uh, pharynx, it has fast uh, buccopharyngia. Buccopharyngia from buccinator muscle goes to pharynx. Fast uh, buccopharyngia in posterior part of buccinator muscle. That is all.